back with another planner review for you today, this time sharing all about the Inkwell Press Planners. I've received so many requests over the past couple of years to review these and I'm happy to share today. So I'm going to walk you through these planners, everything from box to like the a whole planner. Um, I also bought some really cool accessories that I wanted to share as well. Um, so. If you're interested in seeing what lies beneath the cover of the Inkwell Press Planners, keep watching. This is how my package arrived. I have not opened it yet. We're going to open it together. I like to do that so you guys can kind of see. Let's just take a look at the condition of the box. It looks pretty good. You know, the usual damage along the edges and stuff that you would expect. It's very, very full. I ordered two planners, so it's, it's packed. But I imagine they use the same size box for just one planner. Alright, so let's open it up and have a look. So, they have a Refer a Friend program. All of their stuff is very nicely color co coordinated and beautiful. Um, this is their, like, uh, rewards program. Um, let's see what else. Inkling, this is a little something or other. Oh, a little gift, that's nice. Follow your arrow, it says. Oh, a little print, that's beautiful. I got two, dream big, my friend. Maybe because I ordered two planners. These are really cute. You could definitely frame them and, or use them as like little you note know, cards for friends. So I ordered a whole bunch of things, to be honest. Um, I don't even exactly remember. But lots of uh, bubble wrap, which is nice. I wanted to show you guys kind of different things that they have. Oh yes, I ordered some of their washi stickers. So we'll, we'll look at those after we look at the planner. And I ordered um, one of their notebooks, which we'll look at the planner. And I think this is the mini planner, the fall mini planner. So we'll look, we'll look at those things second, but I want to, you know, let's get to the, to the show here. Oh yes, and I believe I ordered the stamp as well. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. So the planners are um, wrapped in brown paper and um, they are labeled. So this is the watercolor flex and the wood chevron classic, I believe. Um, aha, okay. So and nicely in bubble wrap and at the bottom They've put a sample sheet of their weekly kickstart pad. This is a notepad you can buy, so that's nice. I really like the little samples and gifts they include. They're all very nicely color coordinated and useful, so that's, that's good to know. Okay, so now that we've seen the box, we've seen the condition of how everything's packed, I think it's safe to say that everything's packed really, really nicely. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the classic first. I just I want to see the condition of the planners um, after shipping. Um, so nicely wrapped up. Almost like opening a present, isn't it? They look good. They look really good. Um, okay, let's let's take a closer look. I noticed right away that the wire O binding is a little bit dented just on the top ring here. Um, I have said this before and I will continue to say it, I'm just not a huge fan of this binding style, although this is a really heavy duty wire O. It seems um, pretty nicely reinforced. It still got bent and look how well that package, you know, I mean the package was beautiful and very thoughtful in terms of shipping um, safely, so I, I just I just think it's the binding system. But it does make for a little slightly less expensive production, so a slightly less expensive planner. Um, and it also you get the lay flat with that. Okay, so let's open up the um, let's open up the, the flex just to have a look at the how, how it survived <laughs> the journey as well. Okay, so this was the, the watercolor, and the other one was the what? Watercolor and the wood chevron. Okay, so this is the flex and the watercolor. Again, it looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little, it's just a, 
They're just a little off. I think it's pretty good though. This one actually looks like it's in better shape, but the corners and everything look perfect. All right, so let's go through each planner together. Um, I'm, I've actually done research on their website, um, so I know kind of what's included, but I thought it's kind of fun to kind of explore the planners together for the first time, really. So the cover is this beautiful hard cover um, with a, I think it's a um, matte laminate finish, so they say you can easily wipe it off with a damp cloth if in the case that it gets scuffed up or dirty. Um, so it is a, a heavy, you know, like a board cover, so it does add a little bit of weight to the planner, but it's not like really heavy. The planner comes with a plastic bookmark slash, you know, page marker ruler, um, and it has six inches on it. Um, it says, today is your day. I'm sure you can see that. Um, but you can really place this in a variety of ways, um, kind of placing it throughout. If you want it sticking out on the bottom, if you want it sticking out on the top, if you don't want it sticking out, you can use it any which way. Okay, so cover page, get ready 2016, this is your year. And this is their color scheme. Um, it's, you know, uses their branding colors, this sort of subdued teal and a subdued golden yellow and a beautiful gray. I love it when planners use gray uh, because it's a really nice color to use for contrast in writing. So we've got the planner belongs to, this is kind of a standard sheet. Then we've got the laminated tabs on the side. They're mylar coated laminated tabs, uh, reinforced. Beautiful color scheme. You can see it really clearly here. Um, the golden yellow, the like kind of subdued orange, the grapefruit pink, this sort of salmon color, and again, they're kind of classic subdued teal, turquoise color, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so the first tab says plan ahead, and this has important dates, big events, and happenings, and it has um, lists from January through December. Um, so this is a 2016 planner. It is a 12-month planner. But this gives you a little advanced planning worksheet at the front, and then some goal setting sheets. So personal, social, financial, health, home, dream big, my mission, all using their beautiful color palette as you can see. And then it has a goal breakdown from three, six, nine to 12 months. So this is really nice if you want to use this sort of goal planning sheets, but it's only a few. It's not like 18 pages in the front, it's three pages. So it's, it's nice to have um, if you wanna use it, but it's not taking up a lot of room in your planner if you don't. And then it has a 2016 year at a glance calendar. Then we start in on the calendar pages. Each month starts with a month on two page spread with the week with the weekly spreads in between. Um, and they have the laminate tab. Now the first one has this cover page, you know, quote, uh, but then the rest have uh, no paper, I believe. All of them, yeah, instead. Okay, so we're gonna flip through and see that. So let's let's start at January because that's always a good place to start with a planner review. So here's the month on two page spread. Very large, definitely taking up most of the room on the page, which is what you want to so have as much room as you can to write in the boxes. It does follow a color scheme. Um, this is purple for January. The color scheme does not coordinate necessarily with the tabs, it looks like. Um, but it's kind of in that, that same kind of subdued, um, almost like kind of a grayish toned pastel palette. Um, beautiful fonts and things. I mean, it's a little bit scripty. I don't know if that works for you or not, but the tabs are very clear fonts um, and it's double-sided tabs. So the color of the tab and the month is printed on both sides, which I like. I really, it's a pet peeve of mine when they're not. Um, so this is really nice. You've got a column on the side for notes and then a month at a glance calendar on the, on the right bottom hand corner for the, for the next month, um, which is nice. So there's a look at that. Then you have a couple of sheets here to help you um, plan for the month. So you've got a mission board with a color palette that matches, um, you know, so it's got, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this on camera, but it says health, home, me time, be social, financial, dream big. 
adventure it waits. So this is a, a, a mission board, kind of, you know, goal planning, if you want to use it or not, it's up to you. Notes and rambling, so one sheet of note paper at the front here, and then we get right into the weekly calendar. Now this is a vertical spread, their classic is a vertical spread, and it really, really takes the whole page. I mean, they are maximizing real estate here when it comes to the calendar. There's no fluff at the top, there's no fluff at the bottom, there's no fluff on the sides. There is no decor aside from kind of just the stylized nature of the design. That's really the only fluff, I guess we can call it, but they don't even have margins. Um, they're really, really using the whole page, so you have a lot of room here. And I, I should mention that they have redesigned the planner to be, I think, slightly smaller this year. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's um, seven by nine inch pages now. So you've got the lightly lined columns and they, they, you know, so you can kind of divide them if you want or you just write as you want freestyle. Um, it's really open to your interpretation. And then they have the shaded boxes at the bottom to match the color scheme of that month. Um, and they're, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but they're slightly different tones um, to kind of differentiate the days. So that's that's interesting. And then they have a full column for notes on the side. Now the reason planners do this is so that each day can have an equal column, but there's only seven days in a week, obviously. You know, it's not an even number of days. So that's why there's always a, usually a, another column for notes or goals or whatever. So very, very straightforward here. Um, they've got the dates printed at the top, um, so you can kind of stay on track with that, but it's not big. You know, I don't know if some people might want it to be kind of a, a bigger date or not. I'm not sure if that's a personal preference thing. But this is basically what the the week on uh, two-page spread looks like. Then we get to the end of the month and there's two no pages. Um, not not back to back, just like one, two. That's it. And then you get into the next month. And you can see it's a new color scheme for February here. Um, same thing at the front, the mission board. It's got the same things printed on it that I read to you before. It's just the one like decorative part that's been changed. The notes and rambling sheets. And then you get right into the week the weekly planner. Um, and I'll just kind of flip through the months so you can see the different color schemes. Um, this is April. I mean, it's a really pretty color palette. I believe the color palette repeats um, about halfway through the planner. Let's see. Oh, April's lovely, beautiful. I mean, it's just really pretty. Um, here's May. Yeah, here's May. We're back to, no, this is a different purple, isn't it? I think so. No, I think this is the same purple. Yeah, so it repeats a few times, the color palette, but I mean, it's a really nice, color palette, you know, it's definitely got color built in. You can't get away from that, but it's um, it's very subtle and soft, and it's not really decorated, it's just stylized is what I would call it. So let's flip all the way to the end here, see what we've got at the back. Um, so we get to the end of December, it's the same looking two pages, and then we have a tab that says extras on it. Um, so this is where they have, I mean, this, this much of extra stuff, Not that's not, you know, calendar related necessarily. Um, so it's not really a lot, but it's just some things that are included. So it's kind of a nice in-between amount. Um, so this is a gift list. So it's um, shopping for ideas, item purchased, spent. Um, this is good for gift planning for the holidays or for birthdays or whatever. And then they have a, <laughs> this is cute, like a travel section that says, not all who those who wander are lost. Love that quote. Um, so this is nice for a little advanced travel planning. And it's just one spread of it. And then we've got a movie night area for movies you want to see, books you want to read. I'm going to flip this over here so we can have a look at the monthly bill tracker. Um, so that's really useful if you want to have that all in one place. Um, and then we have note paper at the back here. Um, so this is a graph note paper, really nice, uh, with that teal and gray. Um, and it's got labels at the top of one side of the paper. Um, and it's one, two, three, four, five sheets of that, and then a 2017 um, year at a glance calendar page, which I am very pleased to see in here. 
I don't understand why 2016 planners wouldn't put that in, but I've seen a couple so far and it's just surprising. And then there's a double-sided reinforced cardstock folder. Really nice feeling. A place for everything, everything in its place. And then there's also this little built-in slip pocket in the back here. Uh, and I should mention there's also this um, elastic closure which is built right into the planner. Now if that really bothers you, you don't like it, you can cut it off, but it is, it comes standard on it. So that is the planner, the classic planner at a glance. Um, I will say that I know it comes with 44 pages of note paper throughout the planner. I mean, there was only like, what, like five or six at the back, but it's 44 pages total if you wanted to know. Like I said, the planner is seven by nine inches. The paper quality is really, really thick. This is what's adding the biggest amount of bulk to the planner. It's, um, I don't really know this um, categorization, but it's apparently 140 GSM paper, which is roughly equivalent to 100 pound paper. So that is like, that's pretty nice paper. I mean, you can see the vibrant print too. It's a really beautiful paper. And they um, stand by their claim that there's, you will not get bleed through um, with this paper. Um, what else can I tell you about it before we look at the other one? Um, I think those are the main things. I'm just looking at my notes over here on the side. Yeah. So you can buy this in the classic design, which is the vertical weekly calendar, or you can get the flex if you're more of a horizontal weekly calendar kind of gal. Um, so this is the flex in the watercolor pattern. I mean, really beautiful. Uh, again, it's got the built-in elastic closure that's gray, um, just like with the classic. I'm assuming the planner is going to look very similar on the inside until we get to the weekly spread, but we'll look together. So you get the little um, plastic ruler that's, you know, opaque, uh, not opaque, uh, sheer, it's clear, so you can see through it. Same um, cover page, same design of important dates. So you got the, you know, the, I'm not going to go through all of this again. It's exactly the same. Um, but this, this is all looking very, very similar. And even the monthly, the January, starting with January, it's the purple um, color color palette again. So I'm assuming, yep, this is all exactly the same as in the classic. This is where we're going to see the difference in this planner is on the weekly spread. So you've got, again, it's one week on two page spread and it's even allotments of space for every day of the week, including Saturday and Sunday, which again, you guys know if you've watched any of my other planner reviews, I like a lot. I really don't like it when calendars lump Saturday and Sunday together and take give you less space because at least for me personally, that doesn't work with my kind of lifestyle and schedule. So again, every day gets an equal amount of space and because there are seven days in a week and it's not an even number, you have a little note section at the bottom here. So the week starts on Monday. The month at a glance calendar starts on Sunday. I'm noticing this is pretty standard, um, which I never noticed before, but apparently that's how it goes. Um, so again, it's a very similar design as the classic. It's just horizontal instead of vertical. Um, you've got the lightly lined section. They're taking up most of the page. There's really not much of a margin at all around it. No like decor or anything. The decorative aspects are just in the stylized nature of the design. Um, so, and again, you get the three boxes for each day that are shaded, slightly different shaded tones that match the monthly color palette. Um, it's, it's, I mean, let's have a look you, uh, just to show you guys the difference. Um, it is just so similar. It's really just they flipped it on its side. Um, but here you can see how how the you're getting the same amount of space basically. It's just on a different orientation. Um, so I hope that gives you a good sense of that. Really ample room. I like that that's lightly lined, so you can use the lines with guidance, but they're not overpowering. The days are, you know, it's got this like dotted line in between each day, um, which differentiates the days without being too distracting. And again, it's going to be the note section at the back, the two pages of note notes pages, paper at the back, and then you get into the next month with your mission board and your notes and rambling and etc. And um, it's just going to look the same uh, all throughout. So really, it, depending on your personal preference is what horizontal or vertical, if you want, you know, what you pick. Um, some people really like one or the other. Some people aren't sure. If you're not sure, I recommend testing out maybe on something slightly less expensive um, to start. 
um, or just even making your own in a notepad and then seeing what what works for you you know after a couple of weeks and then you can kind of go from there and I'll just show you the back I'm sure it's gonna be exactly the same yeah you've got your extra section here you've got your gift list you've got your travel section you've got your movies and books you want to read your monthly build tracker and then your um, no paper your 2017 at a glance calendar your double-sided folder your little slip pocket this seems pretty standard I will mention the one thing that I, you know, why I really don't care for the wire O. I mean, I'd personally rather pay more for a, like a, like the Aaron Condren binding system. I just, I just like this better. I feel like it's way more durable, but you pay up for that, right? And actually, while we're here, let's just take a look at the size comparison. If you guys want to know, they are pretty comparable. It is they are almost exactly the same. The Erin Condren looks like it comes out just a little bit wider when you put them together. You can see the Erin Condren tab sticking out there. But in terms of height and width and paper size, they're about the same, um, just so you can see that. Um, but anyway, like I said, I prefer this coil. I'm willing to pay up for it because it's just, it doesn't get dam I've never had a problem with damage with it in transit or in use, and I've used the Aaron Condren planner for years, um, and I never have a problem flipping the pages. The problem with the wire O planner, uh, bound planners is when they start getting dented like that it can start getting a little tricky to turn the pages this is not that damaged that it's really that tricky yet but especially when it comes to the cover it's just not as smooth as the transition as it gets beat up but that's just something personal to consider so there are the two available options right now both seven by nine planners um and they're both the same price. It's just a matter of personal preference. So now I wanted to show you some of the little extra goodies I bought because I thought that would be fun just to kind of see what their accessories are like. Um, so I want, I would think this, let's look at this first because I think this is the fall mini planner, which I thought was a really nice thing um, to try out. So let's just, let's just have a look at it. I do believe this is the fall mini planner. It's upside down. So it's just a, a soft covered book. It's pretty lightweight. Um, I don't know how big it is. Let's have a look. It's uh, it's like five and three quarters inches wide by eight and a quarter inch tall. So it's a bit smaller than the normal planner, but it looks kind of the same when you open the page. It's 2015 and it runs September through December. And it's just kind of a, a, a smaller version of the planner without tabs or, you know, the wire binding or anything like that to kind of give you a sense of how, how their planners are and how they work. Um, so this is the flex style, the horizontal calendar style. This is really nice if you want to try this but don't want to spend the money on the full planner if you're just not sure you're going to like it. You can try this for the last few months of the year. It's only $7, which I think is very reasonable. Now, it only comes in the flex layout. Um, I think it would be nice for them maybe next year to offer this in both the flex and the classic layout so you could try both. But um, this is really, really nice way to try out this planner without spending the whole amount on it before you're sure. They also recently released their sewn uh, journal and this is the gold hexagons one. I just thought it looked so cool. Uh, really pretty. I mean it really is gold in person. Let's have a little measure. This is $17. Um, so it's definitely more expensive than the mini planner but it's a different thing. It's five inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. Um, really gorgeous. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but it's absolutely beautiful. And it's their beautiful paper too. It's got a really nice slip to it for being such a, a thick paper. And it's very reminiscent of the note pages in the back of the planner um, with the label on the top and the you know the grid. Um, really beautiful. I love this. This is a, this is a, I really like this. This is quality. It is it is a bit on the pricey side, but it is a really nice sewn journal. Really beautiful. So there's that. And then I also went ahead and bought the stamp. The stamp retails for $7. And this, this looks like kind of fun. You have to have your own ink pad, right? Um, and I will try to zoom in on this so you guys can see it a little bit better. But um, it has um, different labels on it like health, tasks, priorities, um, gratuities, social, 
I'm trying to read them, they're backwards, right? Because it's a stamp. Um, I do not know what that says. Evaluate, goals, planning, really cute. And so you can adjust it by kind of moving this wheel and you can use this in your planner. Um, it's designed to fit really nicely in the planner. It's got a nice feel to it. It has the Inkwell Press logo on it. Just a cute little extra if you're into using stamps. Um, it's just labels, basically. It's where you don't have to write things out every time. Then I've got their uh, washi sheet sticker set. So I bought both the striped and the, the solid. So they were both $8 each. Um, let's have a look at these. So you get, oh, sorry, my mouse is over here. <laughs> you get six sheets. So that seems like, that seems a little expensive for what you get. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the different cutouts of the stickers. So I just pulled over a piece of scrap paper here and um, let's just see what the different, I'm trying to pick one that's pretty vibrant. Let's pick this one. So we can see what the different stickers look like. So you get, little flags and tiny little squares like a long horizontal line like so and then a fatter one um, and then these little flags are a little bit different and then a bunch of hexagons like so. So there you can see the different designs that come with the pack. The, I'm sure the striped washi is exactly the same, but just striped in a different color palette. Yeah. I mean, in the same color palette. Um, so they're cute. I mean, you can get washi sticker sets like this for less on Amazon, I believe. Um, but they aren't going to have quite the same designs. The um, I feel like they are not really removable. Um, no, they're pulling up the paper. So these aren't really removable either. Um, so just keep that in mind if that's a consideration for you. Uh, but that's everything I bought from Inkwell from their latest launch. Uh, and I'm, I gotta say overall, I'm really, really impressed. These planners, both the Classic and the Flex, retail for $54. They are sold out um, right now. But I have been informed that they are restocking the planners, which you can also buy just the inserts in A5 size. Um, so that would go, you know, with the binder style planner, you could just buy the inserts without the cover. Um, the A5 inserts will be available October 28th, and the um, bound planner, like I showed today, will be back in stock on November 12th. Now, Inkwell Press was so, so kind and extended a discount for you guys. If you use uh, the coupon code PRETTYNEAT at checkout, you can save 20% on all Inkwell Press planners, including the A5 version and the bound version. Um, so that doesn't include the accessories, but just the full, the full year planners. Um, so that was really sweet of them. And on top of that, they also are offering a really awesome giveaway prize for one winner where you will win the bound Inkwell Press planner of your choice you'll be able to pick you know what style and what cover design um, as well as a bunch of accessories and I'll have all that information listed on the um, on my coordinating blog post with a link below which is also where you can enter the giveaway it will run for one week's time it's open internationally if you're under the age of 18 I just ask that you have parental permission and I will email the winner directly as always um, so thank you big thanks to Inkwell Press for your generosity and extending these wonderful things to you guys. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have one more planner review scheduled, at least planned. Um, so I'll be back with that next week. Um, and then it's time to kick off the holidays already. I know, it's crazy. But uh, I will see you guys really, really soon. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out my blog if you want more detailed photos and links to things. And I hope you're all well. Happy planning, you guys. Take care. Bye.